All right, straps are done. So let's put it all together. When you have your straps on, you're going to take one side of your apron, doesn't matter which one, and starting at the top, you're going to pin your neck strap. Make sure you do your neck strap, especially if your straps are different sizes. Your neck strap to the top of your apron. And when you pin it to the top of your apron, notice how this kind of hangs down inside your apron. This measurement right here is kind of important. It'll be 5 eighths of an inch because that's going to be your seam allowance. So you're just going to measure 5 eighths, 5 eighths, and pin. Make sure that kind of hangs down like that. Same with the straps in that you will also do a, a 5 eighths inch. Why can't I say that? 5 eighths inch little gap right there and the same on the other side. Now here's the slightly tricky part. As you're sewing it, these guys are so big they're going to want to get tangled up and what you're stitching. So to prevent that from happening, you might want to pin these guys to your pocket or get them somehow tucked inside so they won't get tangled up in the, all your stitching. Once you've got everything pinned in place, what you'll do is, I like to use the floor because it's a nice flat surface. Lay this out on the floor. If you're making your apron reversible, take the other side of your apron and you're going to pin it right on top. You'll be pinning the two right sides together. That's going to be a whole lot of pinning. You only need to pin the top, the curved edge, and the sides. You're leaving the bottom open because that's how we'll flip it inside out. And once you've got everything pinned, sides, curved edge, and top, go ahead and stitch 5 eighths of an inch. And then we'll talk about what to do next.